Hey y'all, Jim Fankey here. Wanted to show you a simple little melodic idea that you can go ahead and inject into some of the stuff that you already know. If you've been through my 10 lesson series, and you learned Cripple Creek, then you can use this lick in Cripple Creek. And I'm gonna show you how at the end of this, how to do it. But this lick comes up a lot in melodic banjo and I'm gonna show you the lick and show you some little variations on it. Uh, you will see this as you're playing, but, and you're gonna see that it comes up quite a bit uh, as you advance and as you learn more melodic tunes. This position is super useful, so hang on to it. It's, a, it, it, it's, good, it's good stuff. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take your index finger and you're gonna put it on the third string at the fifth fret, just right there. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna put it on the fourth string at the seventh fret, so five and seven. And you say, Jim, that's kind of a stretch. Well, it, it is and it isn't. It, it's, it's a good idea to get used to skipping. You know, you got a finger per fret, but you're gonna index and ring. And then the other strings are open. So if you just play, if you just play through it like a chord, that's almost a lick in itself. The pattern that I would like you to use just to start with is just an alternating roll. Three, two, four, one. So three, two, four, one, or thumb, index, thumb, middle. And then you're gonna pick it up and do a three pinch. So you got that. That little lick is something that you can tuck into other songs. You could do it different. You could do four, two, three, one. So one time you could play it. Next time you could do it off the four. You could, and that kind of goes right down the musical scale. And that's why we hold this position. It sets us up to play a scale. <laughs> uh, so one, three, two, four is the pattern I'm doing there. And then three, pinch. Anything works. You could do four, three, two, one if you wanted to. And I'm doing that thumb, index, thumb, middle. And I'll tab each of these out, but I really don't think you need them. Uh, all kind of patterns. Now I told you, I'd show you how that works in Cripple Creek. And, and it's basically a lick that fits over D. So if you've got a quick D at the end of a song, like we do in Cripple Creek, I don't know, we never really talked about it, but it goes to a D chord and then right back to G, this is a lick that'll fit there. So let me show you. So the way we played Cripple Creek was... We did a hammer. You can substitute this lick for the hammer on. Watch. See how that sounds? But you could change the order of strings on that lick. You can do it one time with a hammer. Hammer. Now the second time we're gonna use our melodic lick. See how that works? You can do this. I know you can, and you're gonna start playing some melodic style banjo 
And before you know it, you're going to you're going to add to it and add to it and add to it. And you're going to be able to string a lot of melodic ideas together. I just know you can. Y'all, thanks for watching this super short video today. I know it's not not a big, long thing and you're not learning the song, but I, I think it's a concept that's important enough that you should spend a little bit of time with it. And it's going to help you and you'll benefit from it. And if you enjoy this sort of thing, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like and hit the bell. And that'll, that'll get you some notifications when I post new, new things. All right, folks. See you next time. to continue a little bit and give you a new lick and that was just the continue what i don't even know